Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters in this video we'll be talking about how Saudi Arabia is helping the coming of the Mahdi even though they do not know about it stay tuned on the morning of November 20 1979 up to 500 militants attacked the Grand Mosque Al Masjid Al Haram in Mecca Islam's holiest site If you are interested in the end of time topics, Mahadi the Jali Ajuj and Ajuj, consider to subscribe and hit the bell. We can call MBS a knave. When I saw this report, I was slack jawed. Wallahi, this is how much of a shock I got because this is a perverse decision on MBS part. Dear brothers and sisters, after you listen to this news, you will say Saudi Arabia has become a cesspool. Are they trying to become the enemy of Islam, implacable enemy of Islam? Let's take a look at this article and then inshallah I will tell you how this regime, the Saudi Arabian government is helping the coming of Mahdi. As you can see on the screen, Saudi Arabia mega city Neom they are now planning something very very sinister like something unbelievable but before i tell you the exact story i want to tell you a few things and quote you one hadith because this hadith is so important uh, uh, essentially an invasion of mecca armed with a mandate from the french head of state Burrell traveled to saudi arabia with two of his most trusted lieutenants Rasulullah saw some he said walam yankudu ahad Allah wa ahad rasulihi illa sallatallahu alayhim aduwan min ghayrihim fa akhadhu ba'd ma fi aydihim it basically means when the muslims they break their covenants what allah azawajal will do is that he will make our enemy overpower us we break the covenant with allah and his messenger and the enemy comes to us and take some of what they have in their hands and this is a hadith uh, reported in sunan ibn majah this is a sahih hadith in other words dear brothers and sisters when we do any kind of haram thing whenever we are breaking our covenant with allah azawajal we are helping our enemies to become more and more stronger so how this regime how saudi arabia government is helping the coming of mahdi now as i showed you the report i will actually uh, show it again one more time so that you can have a look basically it is saying that saudi arabia now planning to serve alcohol khamar to the people of neom the beach resort ireland and this is coming from the chief executive who is observing who is in control of this whole project he is saying that so the government he himself he's a non-muslim he confirmed that so the government is going to be allowing for the foreigners for the residents of neom to go to this resort where you have wine khamar and drink this is not the first time saudi arabia doing what they're doing well we can actually forego some of the mistakes some of the sins that they're committing but i want to tell you this particular sin Rasulullah saw some he mentioned about khamar فَإِنَّهُ مِفْتَحُ min شَرْ min كُلِّ شَرْ He said this khamar is the key to all of the evil When we talk about other mistakes, other sins that this country is committing at the moment We can forego, we can overlook some of them But this one dear brothers and sisters is a big one Because now you're not only asking the foreigners to come and enjoy khamar, haram, drink but also you are encouraging your own residents to enjoy khamar. What will happen eventually, dear brothers and sisters, as we have seen, with the widespread khamar shop, wine shop, we, also, we have also seen how this LGBT community, they grew. This group, these people, when they could not find anybody to have intimacy with, whenever these people will feel sad, believe it or not, in the beginning of American history of LGBT, this uh, queer group, they will go to this bar to drink wine, to have khamar, and at the same time finding somebody to talk to eventually making the other person feel like they belong both of them to each other sexually so this is the beginning as Rasulullah said this is the miftah this is the key to all evil and this is exactly where we're heading the country Saudi Arabia is the land of the prophets this is exactly where they're going right now let's talk about the end of time the coming of the Mahdi that I said Dear my sisters, we are heading towards a very, very dangerous situation. Last time in 1971, I believe, when somebody claimed that he is the Mahdi 
and a lot of people give him pledge of allegiance was because of the fact that they have seen so the society becoming so corrupt and so this guy stood up and he said yeah i'm the Mahdi. it is the time because of so much corruption exactly same thing we hope will not happen but they are creating that kind of environment where we will see another bloodshed in mecca and this is what brings me to the hadith that i wanted to share with you from uh, ibn majah uh, Hudayfa bin Yaman he narrated from Rasulullah and this is a Hassan hadith he said La hatta taktulu imamakum. the hour will not establish until you kill your leaders your imam bi asyafikum, and you will fight with each other wa yarisu dunyakum shirukum, and the world will be inherited by the worst of people you will be fighting with each other with swords so dear my sisters when we see this kind of environment and we have some crazy insane people ready to commit bloodshed this is the hadith that is talking about allah alam but we want to avoid all kind of fahsha all kind of facade from land especially the land of the arabian peninsula now how they are helping the coming of the mahdi remember dear my sisters yes even though this kind of you know allowing haram thing to take place they are inviting trouble nevertheless remember the mahdi will come at a time when there will be lot of turmoil it will be very a tumultuous situation for everyone for the muslims for the entire arabian peninsula and at that time allah Azza will send the mahdi so by telling the people that yeah you can drink khamar you can do all kind of haram things dear and sister they are actually indirectly inviting that environment which in which the mahdi will appear so saudi arabia they cannot outsmart allah Azza and his plan but this is how Saudi Arabia is now planning to go forward with all their vision 2030 without realizing, without knowing that this is exactly what the prophecy said in which the Mahdi will appear. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any comment. Subscribe if you're new here. See you in the next video. All three men were reportedly amongst the most accomplished snipers in the world. Thus, when they arrived in Riyadh in late November 1979, to meet then Saudi King Khalid bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and senior Saudi military leaders, there was no question that the French specialists would be the spearhead for crushing Juhayman's bold rebellion. According to Baral's account, the Saudi official version of events gets almost everything wrong, notably the casualty count. Baral claims that up to 5,000 people were killed, 20 times more the official casualty count. Back check 2. What was the primary reason behind Juhayman's grandfather, Sultan bin Bajad bin Hamid al Wutaybi's decision to fight the founder of the third Saudi kingdom, King Abdulaziz al Saud, in the 1920s? A. Too much state corruption. B. Speedy modernization. C. Deals with Western powers. 